Hi everyone, it's Justine. This video is part of the French series on my channel and today we're talking about jewelry, necklaces to be precise. I want to show you with which neckline I would wear each type of necklace because I feel the neckline is the, actually the important thing to consider. Then we'll talk about how to make the necklace work with the rest of the outfit, French way. You'll see that I own a lot of silver, that's just me. If you prefer gold, rosé gold or something else, then imagine what I'm showing with your preferred metal or material. I'm talking about proportions, but the color and the metal is really up to your taste and your skin, just so you know. Let's go. The basic chain necklace. You can wear a chain alone, that's something I like to do with a chunkier chain like this one, or with a matching pendant. Either way, it's classic, it's minimal, maybe a bit conservative, but it always works. You can add natural stones. That's a great way to use a color that suits you well. And by that, I mean that you can highlight your skin or your eyes, etc. Or you can choose a more faceted version where the stone is enclosed in metal. Faceted stones will also shine a lot more, so it catches the attention to that area of your body a lot more. It's up to you. This one is a classic camé design. Those usually come faceted and sculpted on the front. That's the type of present that French grandmothers would give their granddaughters on big occasions. A pearl is also a great sleek option to highlight either the teeth in white or the eyes. In my case, that pearl fit my eyes very nicely. And then you can also use rings as pendants. Each one of your rings gives you a different necklace. I like that idea a lot. A chain necklace, in my opinion, works best with a shirt because the sides here may be covered. There's not much to see anyways. But this area here should be on bare skin. It looks very nice on bare skin and it highlights the jewelry that you're wearing. Also, if the shirt is not buttoned up to here, but you leave like one or two buttons open, the V shape also attracts the attention to that area. So it's very nice. An oval neckline or a bustier neckline would work too, I think, because the chest is free here as well. I would also, if the chain is very short, if the pendant ends here, up high, then I would also wear it with a v-neck sweater or v-neck t-shirt. I would avoid a crew neck because then the pendant is exactly overlapping with the neckline and I feel that's not working in terms of proportions. A bolder short necklace. Necklaces with mixed materials are something I really like if you want to make a bit of a bolder statement, but still look classy. This one is still close to the neck, so it works well with any top that leaves this area free. I wouldn't wear that with a turtleneck sweater because it would be too tight around the neck. It looks like you can't breathe and you probably can't. <laughs> now a very bold short necklace. This one I would wear with a crew neck because it would cover it anyways. Here you don't have to take metal. This one is rope. They are beautiful ones made out of fabrics, of paper, with knots, with patterns, etc. If I'm wearing a necklace like this, then no earrings, or really just the minimum, like a little nail that goes through the ear hole, and just a mini visible element on the front, nothing more. Big short necklaces also work really well with bustier tops and dresses. A long metal necklace. This can be shaped with beads on a chain, as this one actually is, or it could simply be a long chain eventually with a big pendant on it. And that can be metal, but also something else that you like. Anything longer than your bust line here falls into that category of long necklaces. And you can wear those, in my opinion, perfectly with the turtleneck sweater or knitted jersey that goes up to here, because then the necklace gets all the spotlight. A waterfall statement necklace. This is what people usually call a statement necklace, a chain around the neck and then a complex and or heavy structure attached to it. A waterfall necklace has this triangle shape. Think of Sofia Vergara, typical hourglass body, when she wears a mermaid dress with her breast pushed up like hell, she typically wear such a necklace. My favorite way of wearing a waterfall is actually with a crew neck t-shirt, because with a dress it always looks very dramatic, but with a t-shirt it looks like you just styled up a casual look and you have more opportunities, occasions to wear a t-shirt than a mermaid dress. So you can wear your statement necklace a bit more often, though I'm very picky on the length. The waterfall has to start below the neckline for me, otherwise it doesn't work in terms of proportions again. The so-called ethnic statement necklace. That is my favorite. Go bold or go home. <laughs> it covers a very large surface on the chest, so it's almost like an Egyptian color. It's also sometimes called a collar necklace because of that. I do feel like a pharaoh when I wear it. I wear that with a bustier neckline, with a crew neck, 
or with a turtleneck, not with a v-neck. A choker necklace. This one is a choker because it is tight around the neck. It could also be worn higher up on the neck. I don't like the plastic tattoo-like ones that are part of the current 90s comeback, but I do like this length because it can be worn with different tops compared to other types of necklaces. For instance, a halter neck. Top or dress. Looks great with a choker. You could also wear that with an off-the-shoulder top to give it an elegant touch, even if it's actually a more casual top. So a choker is in fact a very good option to style up an outfit very easily. Necklace versus the rest of the outfit. We've seen the different lengths of necklace and which necklines they work well with. Now comes the French perspective on all this. First, the bigger the necklace, the smaller the other elements of jewelry should be, if you're wearing any. If I'm wearing my blue and white rope chunky necklace, for instance, and I add big earrings on top, I'm gonna feel like a Christmas tree. In France, we don't usually wear a full set with the necklace, the cuff, the rings and the earrings. It's a bit too much. So if I'm wearing a necklace, I'm just gonna wear a ring. Or if I'm wearing an arm cuff with earrings, I feel that's enough. I wear one necklace at a time, not layered, not several ones. There are people who do that, but it would immediately, in France, be seen as hippie bohemian and it's not quite office appropriate. A necklace can be matched with your eyes, that's best case actually, or with your purse with your shoes, but usually it doesn't have the color of the rest of the outfit. It's rather a contrasting color. So your necklace will in fact attract the eye here and stand for itself. It's a great way to highlight your chest if you wish to. And here again, as everything French, quality over quantity. You'd rather wear the same beautiful golden chain necklace every day of the year than every week a different one, but plastic. So that's how French me sees necklace styling. If you live in a different country or continent, you might seriously disagree with my taste and you're welcome to do so in the comments below, I'm curious. I also have a question to you guys. How do you wear jewelry? Which kind of elements do you really wear? On which occasions? What are your favorite pieces? I have to warn you, it's um, market research, kind of. <laughs> Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. I will see you soon, Wednesday and Sunday, every week. Until then, you'll find further videos from that French series on my channel page. Take care. Bye-bye.